Good morning, everybody. We are in the kitchen. And I've told y'all that I love to make my bread. I love for us to have homemade bread. and But I hated heating my kitchen up with the oven and stuff like that. That was the only downfall. And so yesterday we went out and about and came across a few yard sales. Now we love yard sales, okay? We love our yard sales. Let me turn y'all up here where you can see me a little bit. There we go. Let me turn that around now. A little bit better. So we love our yard sales. Nope, crooked. We love our yard sales. So we went out yesterday and we hit a few of them locally and came across actually i think it would probably count as three bread machines i already have one here and i don't know why i didn't think of this but i didn't uh so i got one this one right here was five dollars i'm gonna test it out today and then i've got another one over here which is a double bread machine it's called a bread man plus uh it's a double one and I'm going to try it out here in a little bit with just a small little recipe and make sure that both sides work and all that. Y'all, I'm fixing to have all my breads again. I don't know why I didn't think of this. Just, I just don't. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we're going to work on today. Getting my breads ready for the week so that I don't have to worry about making my breads and and my rolls and things like that so because i have got a busy week this week very busy i am canning up a storm and i know the lighting is horrible i can already see that but that's okay um anyway we're going to be canning we've got a lot of projects coming up and planting the file garden all the things okay it's going to be a busy week Plus, it's going to be in the high 90s here all week. So, the least amount that I have to cook and heat my house up and all that, the better off we'll be. So, let's get into this bread making. Whew, nah. And let's get this project finished. Yay! So, this one is one of my favorites. And you're crooked again. Let me fix that. This one is one of my favorites. I just came across it uh, about a month ago, I guess. Something like that. And y'all, I've made it several times, and it comes out the same every time. Amazing. Really soft, really tender bread. And it just keeps for days. Like, it's not one of those that you've got to worry about eating it all that same day. This stuff. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't even explain it. I am so glad I found this recipe. You would not believe. But first of all, let's put a cup of water in our bread machine. Now I have very lightly sprayed the pan in my bread machine. Very lightly, very lightly. I'm going to grab me a butter knife here. I've got some butter that I keep out on the counter. So it's always at room temp. And I'm going to take about two tablespoons and we'll put it down in there. Well, if it'll let go, there we go. There's that. I love my bread machines. I honestly do. And I, I'm so thankful for them. I, I can't do without my, my homemade bread. We've been buying some. It just ain't the same, y'all. It just ain't the same. Two, we're going to do three cups of flour. I am using bread flour. Uh, this was given to me. And 
I don't normally use bread flour. I usually use all purpose in everything. So, you know, this is a little different for me. But, I think I've got about 10 more pounds of it. We're gonna do three tablespoons of sugar on top of that. Two. My sugar's getting a little clumpy. There's three. I've got my salt. I'm using my Himalayan pink salt. And I need one and a half teaspoons of that. This is a half, te half teaspoon measure. So we're going to do one, two, three. Y'all, we love the yard sale. Love it, love it. You can find some really good bargains, really good deals. Then it says a teaspoon of cinnamon. Y'all already know. They are going to be heaping teaspoons because I love my cinnamon. I am a cinnamon lunatic. <laughs> and then two and a half teaspoons of yeast. And I'm going to wipe my spoon out. Well, I said I was. I've lost my towel. So we're going to wipe this out just real quick. And then get my cinnamon in. So two and a half teaspoons. There's half. One. Half. Two. And a half. We're not going to put the raisins in just yet. We're going to hold off on them until it tells us it's ready. So then close the lid. We're going to set this on Which one is it that I set this on? Sweet bread. There we go. All right, this is my new double bread machine. So we're going to attempt. We're going to test this one out. We're going to make two small loaves. I'll show you guys. This is the size pot. This is for a one pound. It's a small one. So perfect for us. We're going to try out just plain sandwich bread in these. So, did I ever turn? <laughs> Never turned that on. We're going to start the microwave. I've got two thirds of a cup of water and one quarter cup of milk heating up. I just want it lukewarm in the microwave. So, as soon as that comes out, I'm going to grab my batter. So we got that. Let's check and see. Um, about 10 more seconds. I just want it lukewarm. I don't want it hot or anything like that. Lukewarm and we're good. Let me shut this one so I can remember which one I'm working in. Right. There we go. That's good. So we're gonna put our water and our milk in here. And that. And then we're going to put two tablespoons of butter in here again. So it's going to be good and buttery for a little small loaf. So there is our two tablespoons of butter. And then we're going to put two and a half cups of flour. Again, I'm using the bread flour because it's what I have out. You can use all purpose if you want in this. Ooh. It's a little tight quarters right there, that's for sure. Two. Uh, 
and a half. And I'll check it after it's kind of done its thing for a few minutes. And then five teaspoons of sugar. Again, I have a half teaspoon measure. We'll put that flour right there. Half. One. Alright, so there's five. We're going to grab our salt. We're going to do one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. Again, pink Himalayan. Ah. And a quarter. Okay. And then one teaspoon of yeast. Looks like I'm going to have to pull my other yeast out of the freezer. I store my yeast in the freezer so that that way it keeps forever. And then I fill this up and use out of it and I keep it in the fridge. Very handy, very handy. And again, it lasts forever. All right, there we go. All right, y'all, what I decided to do Let's go ahead and make both sides. That's the problem with buying these used, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we are to the part where I need two and a half cups of flour. this set for both sides. We'll see. There's that. We're going to hit the start button. Well, let's see. That one's going. That one's going. We're good to go. So we will check this in about five minutes and make sure that it's got plenty of water or, and or flour in it and see how we're doing there. If we need to add a little bit, then we can. Just can't take it away. So, we may have to add more of the other. But we'll check it here in just a few minutes. This one over here is beeping at me, telling me it is time to add the raisins. Now, I am not going to answer the name. I'm going to add till my heart's content. I 
already smells amazing. This is gonna be so good. All right, so we want to check this. I just want to see. It's a little tacky, little tacky, but nothing major. Let's check this one over here. Same with that one. We're gonna let it go for a little bit. We're just gonna let it go, see how it does. This may be something that I really like. Time will tell. This one over here, if I can get on my tippy toes high enough to show you guys, if y'all could smell that, my goodness, you'd know. Put the lid back on that one, and I pulled out my original bread machine. I've got it plugged up. I am getting ready to put another loaf of the cinnamon raisin bread in it, because this one will not last. So I'm going to have a backup. If I have to, I'll put it in the freezer. Let's get this one going. Alright, these have both beeped at me to let me know. I've checked it. It's a little tacky. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of flour to each. These are just letting me know. There we go. We'll pull that off the side there. That's already feeling better. They need to let me know they're about done with their um, kneading process. So, there we go. We'll put that one over here to the side. So we can get the flour. All right, there we go. Lids back out. Let them finish their process. These two little loaves are ready. So I've just been letting them sit there for about five minutes. Now I'm ready to bring them out. And they don't want to come out. Oh my goodness. I may have to grab a knife. Yeah. Let me grab just a little plastic knife. Just a moment, please. Alright, so you want to use a plastic knife. You don't want to use a metal one because you don't want to scrape off the non-stick that's in your bread pan here. So we're just going to run this around. Go all the way to the bottom. We're going to do this one over here the exact same. Got a feeling it's the little need pin is in there. Got a feeling that may be what's holding on to it. But we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Let's try this again. These are really hot, y'all. They just came out of the machine. Aha. Ta -ta -ta. Yeah. 
and get that set up there. And that set up there. There's one. We're going to set this one over here to the side. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. That is not going to stay down for me. I don't want it holding up my bread. There we go. There's two. Alright. So now, we'll bring you guys over here so you can see. How pretty. We're going to put some butter over top of this. And uh, we're going to put it under a towel and let it sit there and cool off. So two loaves are done. Now we're waiting on the cinnamon raisin loaves to get done. And bread for the day, or bread for the next few days, will be done and ready to go. Now I just use unsalted butter. That's the only thing I use unless it a recipe absolutely calls for salted. I feel like it's more I feel like your shirt's more dry than it was like the second. I'm gonna put it since these are small little loaves, I'm just gonna put it all over like that right there. And give it even some more added moisture. There we go. Look how cute those little loaves are. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Oh, I think I've got another one that's done. The cinnamon raisin. So we'll move over to the other side and we'll get that loaf out. Might as well keep my butter out right here with me. So let's move to the other counter. All right, y'all. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> so, yeah, this one got a little big. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me grab this one out of here. There we go. It grew out of my pot. Like, seriously. Oh, my gosh. And it is so soft right there. Oh, that's the good stuff. So, I think it might have gotten a little dark over here. Hopefully the rest of it is good. If not, we can cut that crest off. But yeah, that right there looks perfect. So I'm going to let that sit there for about five minutes. Cool off for just a little bit. And then we're going to get this pulled out of this pan and onto our cooling rack. And this one still has about 45 minutes. This one here. So it'll be done shortly. And then all of our bread will be done. Yay. I can't wait to taste this. Alright y'all, let's try to get this one out of the pan. Try being the optimal word there. I know I'm really close to the camera and I'm sorry for that. Uh oh. The handle doesn't want to get out of my way. There we go. That was easy. Alright. We're going to get this. Look at that. Get this one like that. We're going to get this butter put on right here. And all over the sides. I want as much moisture put back in here as possible. Even though I baked this on light crust, y'all, it took off. And it got a little darker than what I wanted it to, but that's okay. That is fine. It smells so good in here. There is nothing better than when my house smells like fresh baked bread. I love it. I absolutely love it. 
and I wish I had thought of this a lot sooner. There we go. All right, y'all, me and little man have got all the bread done for the day, for the next few days, actually. We got two cinnamon raisin loaves and two small white bread loaves. So, y'all, and this is kind of thin. I cut it thin. Look at that cinnamon raisin. Oh, my gosh. Are you, have you already started without me? <laughs> and then there's the white bread. Look how I can't really bend it because <laughs> it's thin. I like to cut my bread thin. We're going to try this. We're going to see because this white bread recipe is a new one for me. And we were testing out the new bread machines. Which one are you giving a thumbs up to? Uh, the cinnamon raisin bread because I haven't tried it. You like it? The white bread, yeah. I like the cinnamon raisin bread, but I haven't uh, tried it, the white bread yet. Mmm. Not bad. <laughs> are you having trouble? Yeah. Bite into it. It's really thick. There's like a bite mark on it. From this here. one's really good. The swat bread. That's really good. And I made that in the double one. Well, what do you think? Mr. Yummy. Taste Tester. Yummy! <laughs> That's what I think. Now we've made this cinnamon raisin bread in my older bread machine. This is from the newer bread machine that we just got yesterday. So we were kind of testing it out too. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if this can make a bad loaf. That is so good. What do you think? Hmm? Are you good with it? How do you get butter all over your face like that? I don't know. So the one in my older bread machine just came out. So we've not cut it yet. But this one was cool. So I went ahead and cut it. I'm glad I did. <laughs> this one was trying to take the lid off my bread machine. It rose up way bigger than what it should have. I was a little concerned about it. I don't know why it did that, but it did. I was a little concerned, but this turned out perfect. Hmm. Absolutely perfect. So, we'll be eating good this week. You can see right over there, underneath that red and white check towel, that's where the cinnamon raisin bread's at. Hmm. And as you can see, I've not got everything cleaned up yet. <laughs> For my adventures today, so I've got to do that. Then cook supper. Mm. Anyway. This bread is Aiden approved. <laughs> y'all are not here to watch us eat, so. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for supporting our little channel. We appreciate each and every one of you being here. Be blessed. Be very blessed. Much love to each and every one of you, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Tell them bye. Bye. Bye, y'all. And never forget, Jesus loves you. Bye, y'all. <laughs>